Good evening, one day is Friday, September 8, 2023. Jump date for Monday the 11th. All right, let's go. Well, as far as setups, no setups are good tonight. That's not necessarily a bad thing. Knowing when not to trade, as I preach ad nauseum, is very important. I know people crave action, and believe me, I, I feel like sometimes I, I want to do something. I feel like I need to do something too, but sitting on your hands is important. And I know I'll preach all these things over and over. We'll get to the portfolio. In one second, I just want to show you some of the things I'm seeing. You know, something like this. It's had this huge gap higher. It was a penny stock. It's got a little bit of a TKO move. You just kind of look at this right here. It looks okay. Longer term, kind of wide and loose. And then obviously, super high HV. Just not something that you want to trade. I am seeing a lot of shorts still. These home builders are looking a little unorthodox now. They've kind of chopped around a bit. But still looking very toppy nonetheless. So I thought I would continue to show these in here. Owen is a semiconductor. I don't see any reason to go after. It does have a lot of support way down here. I suppose that would be a good problem to have. It's not way down there. It's a little ways, though. So, anyway, I just want to kind of show you what's happening and what I'm seeing and doing my analysis. The good news is energies are kind of hanging in there, so we could see some setups there fairly soon. And then the great thing about energies, as I think I've said before, is they could trade without being held hostage, usually to the overall market, if the energies obviously themselves rallying kbh down a little bit in here still looks like a major top remains in place there k and f not a bad day not too far from these all-time highs sure like see us get there and not look back for a while lfmd bit of a bummer we tried to break out came back in but you know the routine one day at a time just sit tight and let's see how it all shakes out let's take a look at the overall market and one thing i was thinking about before i went live if you're not seeing me talk about various sectors it's because there's not a whole lot that's worth discussing in those areas. Uh, anyway, uh, SP 500 still looks like a major top, or, or somewhat major top is in place. I don't want to get too bearish too quickly. I sure would like to see us break past this prior high in here. That would put us fairly close to those all-time highs. For now, though, caution, I think, is the word of the day. At the least, if you didn't know anything about trading, just draw a horizontal line, connect the closes from the left to the right, obviously. And you can see we're sideways in here one day at a time i think after we get past this we're, we're kind of like pre-holiday week then post-holiday week and then as october draws closer we should get some volatility back in the market uh and as i tried to rally a little bit came back in still has a bit of a head and shoulder top look to it now this is not the end of the world it's not a be all end all just because it looks like a head and shoulders we'll obviously need to wait for some kind of confirmation and one or two big updates obviously would negate that but i think it's good to be in caution mode i think it's good to sit on your hands for now at least rusty same as it ever was down a little bit today down about a quarter percent kind of wide loose and all over the place and probing these multi-week lows let's take a look at the energies that's pretty good news here close at all-time highs not going to argue with that off its best levels but all-time highs nonetheless on a bit of a pullback we could see some setups as i said in facebook earlier today something like a tko especially when you had all-time highs like this would be fantastic be a great little setup financials you can see they're looking a little toppy in here sort of look a little bit like the peas wide and loose and sideways at best draw your arrows and draw your lines on those guys mnc try to rally came back in still looks toppy like the stocks we just looked at a little while ago let's take a look at transports transports making multi-month lows pushing into the support down here but certainly looking pretty ugly over the short to intermediate term. And also, as I've said quite a bit, we stalled out all these prior highs in here. What else has happened? I think that's pretty much it for now. Bonds, unfortunately, do remain in a downtrend, up a little today, but so far in a downtrend. As long as these old lows hold, that would be a good thing. That wouldn't be an all clear, but obviously important for those prior lows to continue to hold. So I think that's about it. We're still in wait and see mode. Nothing wrong with that. And, and again, and I, I don't know how many times I'll say this, probably <laughs> every time the market gets a little choppy, but I really wish somebody would tell me a long time ago when to sit on my hands. Everybody have a fantastic weekend. We'll talk again on Monday. If you do need to reach me, I will be checking in throughout the weekend on Facebook, dodging honeydews. If not, everybody, again, have a great weekend, and we'll talk again on Monday. Thank you.